Um, I think I can safely say it's a stablemate of Sherlock Holmes. Interesting. It's not about a horse. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a horse with deductive powers. <laughs> oh, even longer. Uh, we have no immediate plans. Uh, everyone's really very up for it, but I think I think it's just terribly difficult to schedule everyone. It's just so hard to get Benedict and Martin's diaries to align. And there's always the Faulty Towers principle of just leaving it as it is. Um, equally, I think if in a few years' time we all came back and said, shall we do another one, I think everyone would be very happy to. So never say never. I think what we, what we did, and it wasn't our intention in the beginning, I think what we sort of ended up doing was, was writing their origin story. And the reason, very specifically, the last frame of the end of series four is them in Rathbone Place and Mary Morstan's voiceover saying, you've become the legend, you have become what we need you to be, is we sort of got them to where they usually are when we pick up the story. They are usually two men either side of a fireplace and someone rings the bell and off they go. And I think we've sort of ended up uh, doing the story of how they became those two men. They don't know. <laughs> well, the, the Victorian special kind of started out as a joke and then became a real thing. And we have joked about doing one in black and white where they fight the Nazis. So, you know, maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs>